Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so yesterday we we talk about um, a very important notion called uh, modular modular fusion category. Um, and uh, so we talk about S matrices of premodular premodular fusion category. And the modular fusion category is a premodular fusion category where the S matrix is invertible. Okay, and we stated a very important theorem that we may prove later is that the, the center of a spherical fusion category is modular. And I, I, I finish by this remark that <clears throat> Uh, a modular fusion category has an invariant called the central charge. In the center case, the central charge is zero, but um, you, you, there exists a modular fusion category with central charge non-zero, which means that every modular fusion category are not of this form. <clears throat> okay. Uh, there, there, there exists modular fusion category not of this form. So here, in particular, <clears throat> VEGG is a spherical fusion category. So the center of VEGG, which is equivalent to the center of REVG, is a modular fusion category. And let us let me provide a few details about the S matrix. In this case, <clears throat> So recall uh, that as a simple object of uh, this center are given by couple by pairs C V uh, where Is a conjugate class of the group, so G is a fine group, and V is an irreducible representation of the centralizer of an element of the conjugacy class of the centralizer C G A with A in the conjugacy class. So now let me let me write without proof the so S matrix in this case, and twist the so twist also um, so the so S matrix are given like that so. Here are the entry. <clears throat> you have two such pairs. So, order of the group divided by the order of the centralizer of A, order of the centralizer of A prime with A and A prime in, <clears throat> in C and C prime, sum for G in some group we will define after that, G A prime. Trace on V of G A prime G G. Anyway, we don't need to remember this formula. Just just to to show that such formula is possible and exists. And the twist. This formula can be very useful if you want to work with the modular. Uh, this this the center of the VEG G. You can compute such, a, you can use such invariant, it can, can be very useful. Trace of A divided by dimension over the field of the representation. So as I said, A, A prime R in C, C prime, and the group, this group is the element of the subgroup of G, such that you have such relations anyway. It does not matter. Let me just write it like that. 
So you have this nice formula for the entry of the S matrix of the center of G. <clears throat> and uh, as I said yesterday, you can, so uh, the student of Scott Morrison, Ang Angus something, um, computed this for VEGG omega for some, uh, for, for a lot of example of VEGG omega. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, so now let us provide another uh, result for a premodular category. A premodular modular category. Uh, so we will provide a list of results. We will prove. Uh, relating the entry of the S matrix and the, the fusion rule. So for all X, Y simple object of twice morphism, the entry of the S matrix, oh, is given by, so the twist, the, the scalar given by the twist sum for the, uh, in the simple optimism, the fusion rule, twist, and dimension Z. So you see the, the fusion, uh, the S matrix is completely determined by the fusion rule and the twist. Okay, so proof. Um, so recall that uh, so the twist uh, satisfy is a twist so satisfy by definition the twist phi. Uh, theta, um, theta, yeah. theta x tensor y is equal to theta x tensor theta y composed with the braiding two times, the, you apply the braiding two times. Okay. Um, so, um, so recall, let me write. Another color. Recall that theta is a natural isomorphism. So theta a plus b is theta a plus theta b. It's a additive, but uh, X tensor Y is the direct sum over the, the simple of two isomorphism of the multiplicity space given by this home space tensor Z, where this is the multiplicity space. Multiplicity space of dimension. Uh, the fusion rule. Okay, dimension uh, over the field. <clears throat> so now you apply. So if you apply the trace to this, you apply the trace to uh, this uh, equality, this identity, you get using the this decomposition of X tensor Y with multiplicities, fusion rule, you directly get that the sum over Z and X, Y, Z trace of theta Z equal theta X, theta Y, S, X. Yeah, so you know that this is exactly, the trace of that is exactly S, X, Y. 
And the trace of that is exactly theta x, theta y, where you have to be careful here. This is a morphism, but here it's a scalar. You remember we identify, we identified this, uh, this isomorphism between uh, x and itself, which is x is a simple object, so it's, it's completely determined by scalar. And here we are what we write is scalar. Okay. Um, so, but, so let me recall again something. Um, but, um, trace of theta z is, um, so what, voila, let me, Wait a minute. Um, wait, wait, wait. Uh, mm, 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 mm. So let me just write that. Trait of theta is theta z dimension z. I am confused because I just said you apply the trace here. Here. So what's the point of not getting um, the dimension of x and y also. Oh, wait, let me just first recall why we have that. So why we have trace of theta z equal uh, theta z as a scalar dimension z. So let me write it here. So trace of theta z, so theta z as a morphism. Uh, trace, so you apply the, the, the spherical structure, the pivotal structure. Here it's spherical. And here you have the double star, and then like that. This is um, so theta z. Yeah, so theta z is given by this scalar. And then you are reduced to that, which is exactly theta z dimension z. Okay. So here, um, um, I'm a bit confused about. Um, So you have that, you apply the, so you decompose and you apply uh, the, you get that, okay. So the trace here, you have that. What about the trace of that? <clears throat> What are we supposed to prove? Mm. Anyway, so I, I have to to look about that more carefully. But up to this uh, details, I am not able to to fix. Uh, right now you get the proof because then you have um then mm, so you replace you replace that by that and so you get tech theta yeah, you get exactly what you want. Get some z n x y z um, theta z dimension z is equal to theta x theta y s x like that. And so you you get the formula you want by putting on the other way. The other side, uh, putting like that. 
So, this finish the proof up to these details. I have to. Uh, <clears throat> uh, think about uh, I'm missing something here. So I, let me repeat what, what I am missing that you apply the trace here uh, you apply the trace here. So you get this and here you, you may get also the dimension of X and dimension of Y as it is proved here. Um, so why you don't get that? Um, wait, maybe, um, no, it's, anyway. <clears throat> so let me write it uh, maybe in, uh, uh, yeah. Yellow, there is a details. Why not um, uh, dimension X and dimension Y here? Okay, so let me continue. I will try to, uh, to fix that later. Um, okay, so now we mark. Um, we mark. So the remark is that this formula, so up to fixing, uh, I don't remember. This formula generalize the formula for the, um, you, 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 we mentioned for pre-metric group, so ABOF formula. So pre-metric group is an example of pre-modular category. And we have a similar formula in this case, generalizing what we, what was proved before, generalize the following for pre-metric which you have the, the bilinear even like that, like the linear form QG, QH. Okay. Um, okay. Next. Mm. Okay. So now, uh, so we can. So just by picture, we will um, talk about the notion of trace of a first or a second factor. So consider a morphism from X tensor Y to X tensor Y. And we want to trace only on one factor. So trace on of first uh, factor define like that. So you have the morphism F by picture, X and Y, X here. And you apply the trace only on the Y component. So this is a trace on the first factor, on the second factor. And the trace on the trace on the first factor is the same ID, but you put the you put the, 
the spherical structure a bomb here phi x inverse and like that <clears throat> okay so I, I did not really need that in this course. I talk about that in the book, but because I, I will do a pictorial proof for the next proposition, I, I, I don't really need to talk about trace of second and first factor. I will directly do the picture. So proposition. Um, Let x, y, z in the, the simple object. Then um, s, x, y, s, x, z is dimension x of the sum over the simple of n. Y, uh, what, what, Y, Z, W, Y, yeah, S, X, W. So it's like uh, the multiplication of this, of such uh, entry of this matrix decompose using the fusion rule. <clears throat> um, whereas here, uh, so here, yeah, here I have a doubt huh, about this, uh, that there may be a mistake in the book here. Mm. Anyway, I guess we, uh, in what we will do in this course, so it does not matter, but I have to double check whether there is not a mistake in this formula in the book. Let me just let me just recheck the book by myself a few seconds. In the case I, I myself make a mistake when I do the book, but I, I don't think so. Um, Um, right. The proposition eight, twelve, thirteen, eight. So let me write eight, uh, Hmm. Okay, so I will double check that. Okay. So this proposition, so the fusion rule, in fact, so you have the same X here, different Z, and the, this product is given by this fusion rule, the same X and uh, W. So, um, And the proof will be by picture. Um, so proof. Uh, so by hexagon relation, hexagon relations. Um, so, so this twist. You have x and uh, y tensor z. You apply it one time and two times. The twist by hexagonal relation. This is exactly like that. So you can uh, you can uh, separate the the double uh, string. So you have x, y, z. Uh, so 
first this one identity next this one and again identity identity here and here okay and now you are we want to apply uh, um, the trace on the third factor. In fact, I don't really need to, as I said, I don't really need to meant to say that. We want, uh, we will consider this part. Um, so um, recall, recall. So if you have uh, some x uh, simple, or let me call it z, x simple, then uh, if you have a morphism f from x to x, this is nothing but given by a scalar. But if you apply the trace here, you get f x, so the, the spherical structure equal k uh, x like that, which is uh, k dimension of x. So. Uh, so, so k equal trace of f times dimension of x inverse. Um, okay. So if you apply that here, the f is this part, um, and the x is x tensor z. You get so it's not simple. Uh, so it's not what I wanted to, to do. Wait, no, 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 it's not like that. You are you first apply the trace. Sorry, so uh, I remove that. Oh, it's not very convenient. You first apply the trace, and we will apply what I read. In orange. Okay, so apply um, apply the trace apply the trace on the third factor on the third factor you get off the, the right hand side you get something like that. So let me write it quickly. So one time, two times, and one time here. So we apply the trace on the third factor. So here, the uh, spherical structure. And then uh, this is equal to now you consider this part. Now you really have, uh, you really consider a morphism from a simple object to itself. This part using this box, this is equal to a dimension so what is x? So it's x dimension x inverse, dimension x inverse times the, uh, the trace of um, um, the trace of what you have of the of the morphism, which is exactly the trace of that. So you just put it uh, like that. So like that, 
like that. And um, uh, so, the, uh, so what is that now? So let me just write spherical structure like that, which is exactly the entry of the S matrix. <clears throat> So uh, it is equal to dimension x inverse s x. So here it's x, here it's z. Here it's uh, phi of x tensor z. X tensor z. Okay. So let me try to write it more cleanly. I of x tensor. Okay, so now, so the full, so the full trace of the right hand side. So then, when you trace again, also here and here, will be. So we are. Uh, we are reduced to, um, so we'll be like that. Um, uh, dimension X inverse S X Z times, again, the same picture. And in fact, what, um, the, so the orange part, what we, this orange part here, in fact, correspond to uh, this part here. So which, which was this part here. <sighs> Okay, which is, uh, uh, so the last one is exactly uh, the, the, so dimension X inverse, S, X, Z, and S, X, Y. X, 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 Y. Okay, and so here there is no mistake. It's exactly what we wanted to prove. You started from, uh, I'm not mistaken, yes? no, it's not finished. We just, but already, it's almost finished. We got one side. We got one side here. And the other, the, the, we put the dimension X on the other way. And then we only need to reformulate this as like that, but, it's immediate because we just need to decompose X tensor Z and Y tensor Z. So it's uh, almost done. So let me check the time. Okay, 10 minutes before the poll. So about, but the left hand side equal. Let me just write that left hand side equal a sum for Z for W. So you just decompose the double string using the fusion rule with the multiplicity. So uh, multiplicity and you have the uh, like that. X, W, multiplicity, multiplicity, which is when you apply the trace, uh, uh, when you apply the trace is exactly uh, what we want. So it's here, 
you get the, the trace. So you, you get the the fusion the fusion uh, n um, n y z w, and here you get the uh, the and three of this matrix. So it's equal to, but after applying the, the trace, you get some n uh, y z w s x w. And this is the end of the proof. You, you put, you put the, the dimension z on the other side of the equality and you get exactly what we did. Okay. Next uh, proposition. Um, so let x, y, to be a simple object, consider so consider the map H X from the the, the Grothendieck ring of the category to the field K, where the class of Y maps to S X Y divided by dimension X. This is a character of the Grotten degree is a character of the Grotten degree character in the sense of uh, ring homomorphism. Ring homomorphism. Homomorphism. Okay. Uh, this is the first point. Second point. Um, so H X Y class of Y equal so which is equal to X like that is an algebraic integer. Is an algebraic integer. Algebraic integer. Okay. And uh, last point. Uh, or maybe remark. Remark before the proof. Uh, remark. So um, H one of class of Y equal S one Y divided by dimension one, which is exactly dimension Y. So it is is an algebraic integer and. Uh, so, n dim is a character. So dim is h1 here. Dim equal h1 is a character. Is a character. Is a character. Moreover, um, so uh, S X W X S X Y equal um, like that times dime X, which is an algebraic integer. Is an algebraic integer, the product of two algebraic integers. So we have that. Um, <clears throat> The entry of the S matrix are algebraic integer. <clears throat> okay. So, what about the proof of this proposition? So, 
first point. Um, uh, okay. So by previous proposition, Um, so you apply the, the fusion rule for the entry of the S. So wait, uh, this H of X of Y times H of X of the class of Z, it's equal to S X Y divided by dimension X times H x z divided by dimension x but we know the previous proposition tell you something about this product this product is, is equal to dimension x times something so you have divided by two times dimension x so it's equal to dimension x inverse times what we stated in the previous proposition the fusion rules s x the But um, this is, now you put together this and this and you get again a, a, a character. It's a sum over W of N W Z W H of uh, X of w, the class of W, which is uh, um, H X of the sum of W of N, Y, Z, W, class of W, which is exactly uh, the class of Y times the class of Z. So H, X, class of Y, class of Z, by definition of the, of the fusion rule. So we started from that, and we get that. So it's really what we wanted to prove the character. So it's multiplicative, and the other property of the character are straightforward to check. Okay, and now uh, the second point uh, by point one SXW divided by dim x is an eigenvalue. So you can see that the, what makes the character are eigenvalue of a fusion matrix. Matrix made by the fusion coefficient, which is, which is uh, some fusion matrix I don't remember. So which one, which is an integ integer matrix, which means matrix with integral coefficient. So the eigenvalue are, uh, so, so is algebraic integer. Algebraic integer mean to be uh, the root of a polynomial with integral coefficient and the dominant coefficient equal to one, which is exactly what you get as a characteristic polynomial of a matrix with integral coefficient. So it's okay. So we can make the pose now. So I, I understood. So um, in, the, in some next, uh, so in the next proof we will. Uh, that. Um, in green. Uh, that will be explained with a bit more details in 
uh, the proof in some next uh, in some next proof. The eigenvalue of the fusion matrix. We will see something, and I, I understood my mistake. Uh, where is it? Here. Here. So I don't. There is no need to put dimension here because. Um, let me just draw what we what we have here. So I here this the trace of that. So pictorially, what you have is just hmm. uh, so you start by the, like that. So let me give a few we try to right okay so you have um x the, the double twist and then you have a theta x theta y and then you have uh, the spherical structure and you apply the trace here. But we know that we can remove um, you can we can remove this as we can replace this as a scalar. So this is equal to exactly what that is. it is immediate you just need to draw the picture and you get exactly what you want so this is equal to theta x theta y uh, like that which is equal to theta x theta y s x y sorry about that okay there is no mistake in the book okay i hope i, I there is no other question mark here um okay <clears throat> now, so we will mention in more detail, a bit more details about the uh, eigenvalue, <clears throat> the, the, the entry of a character, okay. eigenvalue of fusion matrix. We we'll see that uh, in the next, uh, the proof of the next lemma. Okay. <clears throat> so this next lemma will be in the new section about dedicated to modular categories. So modular, so we already defined modular categories, but from now, the categories with all the categories will be assumed to be modular. Modular categories. So recall that a pre-modular category, well, we already say that, but anyway. The pre-modular category, so that uh, pre-modular category C is modular if its S matrix is invertible, non-degenerate. S matrix is non-degenerate, which means invertible, degenerate. Okay, so lemma. This lemma will be about an orthogonal relation among um, the character of a fusion ring. So this lemma will not be about modular category from now, but we will use this lemma to prove something about modular category. So first, this lemma in a general framework of fusion ring. 
So let A be a fusion ring. Uh, with basis B. Uh, let um, key one, key two be distinct character from A to the field. Then, so this is important to be just to be uh, different. The sum over the element of the basis of chi one x times chi two x star is zero. So in some sense, in this sense, two different characters are orthogonal. Uh, um, in some sense. K1 different from K2 equivalent to K1 orthogonal to K2. <clears throat> okay. So the proof. So this is the proof of that where we will uh, see more details about character uh, character and um, again value of fusion matrix. So recall <clears throat> for that we need to recall. So I, it's a recall, I will change the color. It's not a new content. Recall. So what is in the book, it's called equation three, three. So we, maybe we mentioned that, we may mention that. So this equation is saying the following, the sum for X in B of Y X star, tensor x equal sum over x of x star tensor x y in. So the tensor here is just the tensor of uh, so in a tensor a, the formal tensor product of the fusion ring. There is no, we are not talking about a tensor product of a category here. It's just the formal tensor product of the fusion ring. <clears throat> so now you apply. So this is the recall. <clears throat> so uh, okay. now I, I will come back to the usual color. You apply um, apply to this identity. You apply to this equality, you apply identity tensor k1. And you get, so you apply, you put identity for this component and the, the character for the other component. So what you get is a sum for x in B um, of x y star times uh, which is equal to the sum of x, x star times k1 of x, y. Okay. But um, the left hand side equal to y sum for x in b of x star k1 of x, the right hand side equal to k1 of x. So remember k is a character, so it's multiplicative. You can decompose here. k1 of x sum for x of x star k1 of uh, k1 of y, sorry, here. Uh, so the same after that. So if, so let, let P equal 
sum over x k1 of x x star, uh, non, which is obviously non zero. Then um, you get the left hand side, you reformulate left hand side and right hand side using p, and you get yp equal k1 of y p. <clears throat> Uh, and here you see um, why here you can see um, uh, you can see p as uh, so let me write uh, in green if you see P as an eigenvector of uh, of the fusion matrix for Y, then uh, k one of Y is an eigenvalue. And so, uh, so the character value are eigenvalue of fusion matrix. So this is what I wanted to. So points of the previous uh, proof is completely written here. Up to some details, P is not a vector, it's a matrix. You can restate everything in terms of uh, matrix uh, and uh, in terms of vector. Uh, so maybe this sentence is a bit, uh, is not very correct, but it's okay. You can, you can reformulate in a, a correct way. So, um, okay. So now you apply again, uh, you apply the second character and you get K. Um, K2 of Y, uh, K2 of P, which is equal to K1 of Y, K2 of P. And this is for all Y in the basis. You see, you have um, um, <clears throat> so. Um, chi uh, one minus chi two of y times chi two of p equal to zero for all y. So, so for all y. So. There is no choice, you must have, but uh, because uh, y1 is different from y2. And the, the character is completely determined by the value on the basis. So because it is for all, then this cannot be zero. They, they, may, they should exist. But why for this is non zero? So that should be zero. Uh, but k of p is exactly what we want. So it's p is written um, here. So p is here. So k two of p is equal to. Us sum over x of k1 of x k2 of x star. So this is zero. So this is the end of the Okay. So it's okay. It is okay. So two different characters are orthogonal. 
<sighs> okay. So now, recall. Now we will provide um, the goal now. <clears throat> so this, this was proved for general fusion rate. Now we will provide um, a formula for the square of the S matrix for a modular category. So for that, we will we need to recall the categorical dimension because this square will involve the categorical dimension. So recall that the categorical dimension of a spherical fusion category C is uh, dimension C the sum over the simple object of two isomorphism of the square of their dimension and uh, remember that the dimension is depend on depend on the spherical structure on the spherical structure Okay, so this is a categorical dimension, the sum of the square of the dimension of the simple object, exactly as for order of finite group, the sum of the square of the degree, the sum of the square of the dimension of the irreversible representation, up to isomorphism. Then consider the, uh, in some sense, the, the dual matrix. So let me just write it like that. The matrix encoding the dual structure. X star Y, X, Y in simple object up to isomorphism. The square matrix. Okay. And so the square of the S matrix of a modular category will involve exactly this uh, matrix encoding the dual structure and the, the categorical dimension, more precisely, proposition. Um, so let C be a modular category. Modular category and S its S matrix, then S square, S square is equal to categorical dimension of C times E. And before the proof, let me mention a remark. But then S power four is dimension C square E square, but E encodes the dual structure. So E square is the identity. So it is dimension C square identity. So the inverse of S is exactly a dimension C uh, power minus two S uh, cube, uh, S cube, which is dimension C minus two S square S, which is dimension C inverse E S. So it can be formulated like that. Then you apply E S, this is just this mat with these uh, entries. You replace y by y, y star. Okay, so the inverse of S is dimension, inverse of categorical dimension, and you replace y by y star. The entry. Okay, so now the proof of the proposition. 
trop. Par the proposition. Um. Um. So by invertibility of the S matrix. Is two such characters defined before are equal if and only if the object is the same. The simple object is the same, where so I already mentioned that soon, but where this is a character of the Grotendic ring defined involving the entry of the S matrix. Okay. Um, because, uh, because, because well, it's not so important, so I should not put in room. some uh, like that. So, uh, S, X, T over dimension, uh, Y, T, Y, T. Dimension one equal S C T over dimension Z. Uh, if this if only if dimension a for all t for all t. So if you have that for all t, which is exactly what we mean by equality of these two characters. This is equivalent to this vector S Y T T equal dimension Y divided by dimension Z S Z T T. And by invertibility, you have two colon of um, the matrix, which are uh, um, collinear. So the, the two vectors of the colon are collinear. So uh, that can be possible only if these two colon are the same. Otherwise, the matrix cannot be invertible by invertibility. An invertible matrix, take two colon, the vector given by two colon, two different colon are, of course, uh, non-collinear. This is basic uh, algebra, linear algebra. So suppose, now you suppose y different from z. So you take two different simple objects. So in particular, two different characters. So you can apply, you can apply the previous lemma, so the orthogonality. Uh, uh, HY orthogonal to HZ. Um, the sum over X of the two, like that, is equal to zero. Okay. So, um, if you put the definition of um, of that so definition so sum over x of um, so s y x s y x over dimension y s z x over dimension z equal zero uh, so you so, sum over x, you, you don't need to care about the dimension. Uh, S, Z, X, star equals zero. Now, <clears throat> you can replace this uh, by, uh, um, so we know 
that s z x star equal s z star x equal s x z star. So this is um, basic formula we proved when we define the notion of S matrix. Uh, so the sum of X of X, Y, X sum S uh, X Z star equals zero in particular, which is, this is exactly the entry Y Z star of S square where the y is different from z. Okay. So we, we have a first uh, part of um, the proof. So now we need to consider uh, the diagonal. The, not the diagonal, when we need to consider y equals z. The diagonal when it is self dual, but otherwise not diagonal. So it remains, it remains to check that S square y y star equals the dimension of C, categorical dimension of C for all simple objects. And uh, so this is the sum for x, s, x, like that, which is, you apply the same kind of uh, basic rule like that. Um, uh, okay. Now this is equal to. Uh, yeah. So here you can apply the proposition using uh, the proposition involving the the. We will apply the proposition apply the proposition involving the fusion rule. Fusion rule, we, we, we proved uh, just before the pause. And you get that it is equal to, do you apply it to that here? Um, okay. You get the sum of our x of uh, right. <sighs> Wait, I'm lost in my note. The sum of x of dimension x sum over z n y y star z s x z. So that's okay. Um, it's equal to. So you you rearrange a bit sum over z n y y star z sum over x dimension x s x z okay which is equal to um, but, um, I see. so sum over z n y y star z Dimension z, so we factorize by dimension z, 
sum over x, dimension x, uh, like that. So you exactly, uh, where is it? Here. We factorize by dimension z, so we, we exactly get the, the character. Okay. Um, now, this is equal to this is equal to um, what? Uh, so this, this is, a, <clears throat> um, so here you, here you have a sum, wait. So dimension structure, so we need the dimension structure here so let me add one more um, this is equal to the sum of our x of h c x dimension x star because by definition of time uh, dim x equal dim x star by definition of spherical structure. So you have here the, <clears throat> you have the orthogonal relation. So this is zero, which is zero which is equal to zero if and only if uh, hz equal dim if and only if z equal one unit uh, non-zero it is non-zero if and only if h so we can reduce to z equal one so we can reduce So we only need to consider z equal one. So we only need to consider z equal one. Uh, um, so it's equal. Let me write it here, maybe make more sense. <clears throat> okay, so you get, so Z equal one. So we are reduced to and y, y star one dimension. And here, um, here you have the, this is the case where it is only hg is equal to dim. So you have the sum of square and z is equal to one, so it's one. So you are reduced to only that, which is exactly that by the, <coughs> Axiom of uh, uh, axiom of uh, of a fusion ring n y y star one is one fusion ring. Okay, so this is precisely what we wanted to prove. We proved. Um,
uh, this square is like that where uh, when x, uh, um, so maybe I should write like that to be to, to agree with uh, the, the statement of the proposition. So it's really the uh, it's really uh, the dual matrix out of uh, uh, x y equals z, and when y equals z, you exactly get dimension categorical categorical dimension. So this is exactly what we wanted to prove, and now we can take a very famous uh, formula to recover the fusion rule from the S matrix. So this is a Verlind formula, very, very famous. Verlind formula formula so let c be a modular fusion category then for all y z w simple object uh, Um, this coefficient, fusion coefficient, is exactly inverse of categorical dimension times the sum over the simple object of two isomorphism x y x y s x y s x z. S X W star divided by dimension of X. So it's very famous. So let me uh, let me say before the proof. I, I will maybe write that uh, after that. Uh, but this formula. Recovering the fusion uh, coefficient from the S matrix entry, in fact, can be generalized to every uh, commutative fusion ring. It's not specific to modular category, but if for every commutative fusion ring, you have to replace the S matrix by the character table. And in fact, up to replacing the S matrix by character table, you have such a formula for every commutative, uh, for every commutative uh, fusion ring. So there is nothing specific to modular category here, in fact. This is true for every commutative fusion ring, up to replacing S matrix by character table, because the character table is always an invertible, uh, an invertible uh, matrix which is a renormalization of the S matrix in the modular case. So that's why you, you, this explains the, why you have this. This explains the relation. But uh, uh, out of the modular case, the character table is not the S matrix because one is invertible and the other is not out of the modular case. Okay, so. So maybe I will have time to prove that in the last five minutes. Let me try. Otherwise, I will finish next week. So consider the equality from, from the pro previous proposition. The equality uh, involving the fusion, the fusion coefficient. We already mentioned that several times. So dimension x sum over w of n y z w x s x w. Uh, 
now. The, but the previous proposition uh, uh, about S square state that so the entry of S square is like that. Uh, so I, I wrote with some specific uh, index because I will use it later, but it's okay. This, this is the same. So this is like that for all uh, WT, X, all, the, all WT. So um, you apply uh, um, what? Uh, okay, so now you consider sum over x of s x y s x z over dimension x. So exactly this, you put this here, you get that is equal. To, so you, you, you put times s because we want to apply the s square formula. So this is equal to sum of n y z t s x t s y c. So you just re replace, uh, you just put that here and you get that and you put that here up to some index, different index, it's exactly the same thing. It's equal to some, so you reformulate the formula y z t sum over x s w star x s that. So, and this is exactly equal to dimension by the by the S square formula, formula for S square, this is exactly that. So it's equal to N Y Z W. Um, so you, you have to, uh, wait. So you can take T equal W. So yeah, dimension of categorical dimension. Uh, which is exactly uh, what we wanted to prove. Wait, yeah, up to putting uh, up to putting this on the other way. Conclusion. Sum over x of s s x y s x z s w star x divided by dimension of x is equal to n dimension of c so up to put the dimension c the other uh, side you get exactly what we wanted to prove and it's perfect, we can uh, end the session here, end of session. Okay. Um. <sighs> okay, so we can stop here. Um.